Uh, we started the Nomad Center in 1984, which has been about 36 years now. And we work in the areas of art, culture, human rights and peace. And we work with communities, whether it is uh, the lesser privileged children uh, managing to go to school and trying to help them do so, or if it's women, uh, women's empowerment is extremely important to us, particularly in a patriarchal society that we live in. Over the years, there have been challenges uh, during military regimes or otherwise of the kind of art you could show, the kind of uh, films you could make. Uh, Pakistan has a long history in, in um, beautiful art, um, fantastic regions, uh, culture, crafts, indigenous crafts basically. Uh, yet the women get left behind because of patriarchy, because of marginalization, and also because of certain discriminatory laws that came about uh, during the Ziaud Haq uh, martial law period. Uh, many people have stood together and fought for those and, uh, and trying to get to a place uh, where there is equal opportunities for all. Uh, talking about present period, uh, we have gone through, the, like everybody else, uh, the COVID pandemic which has affected businesses, works, people's lives globally. The tragedy is that in developing countries, it is probably a step worse because of lesser privileges. And uh, therefore, we were running uh, this beautiful gallery and cultural center, the Nomad Center uh, in Banigala, which we closed about almost a year back due to not being able to meet the overheads due to COVID because people are not willing to step into public spaces and also because we felt that the new way to go and the new life now is to go digital, uh, to be online uh, and we are on social media as well as uh, working on uh, organized shows, pop-up shows and uh, private viewing. Uh, that may not be the best way to go about it uh, but I don't think uh, this is the time to complain. We are very grateful. I am very personally a, very, a person who is grateful for what we have and uh, what we can make of that. But it becomes extremely difficult at times when you have to link up with your, your partners, your communities, the craftspeople, some of the artists are depending on us, uh, you know, for, for almost uh, for survival. And since we don't have any government or donor support, we don't have a permanent place it becomes extremely difficult at times. However, we intend to carry on the way we are, and I think things will improve. And um, on the other hand, uh, we are trying to sell Pakistani artists' work online, internationally. We have received some uh, good response earlier. Um, not enough, but it's getting somewhere. And um, at the moment, um, we are looking for collaborations, we are looking for partners, because this is the time for all of us to get together, to support each other, and to work as we are right now, uh, at a level where we are connecting globally. Uh, there tend to be issues with government policies in the region. Uh, when, when I talk of the region, again, I'm referring to Afghanistan, Pakistan, and India. Uh, and it's very important for the people to have uh, the right approach and the perspective of a people-to-people -people dialogue, which can be called a track two or whatever you want to name it. The idea is to look at peace and security in the region and using culture as a tool, using culture in a manner of sharing our narratives and our histories and also by looking at the present and where we are going in the future and what kind of life are we going to give our youth and our children uh, and what kind of world are they going to have to live in and exist the challenges already are enough uh, that we need to uh, soften it with, uh, with art, with, with music, with uh, theatre, with encouraging creativity and uh, the humane element of life. This month's exhibition is by Shirin Banu Rizvi, which is an amazing, amazing art, uh, which is contemporary and yet uh, she has this uh, very, very sort of spiritual feel to her work which is very appealing. Um, other than that, we are also running a mid-month show by Ubed Sayyid, 
uh, the Pakistani uh, an artist who is based in Sweden now, so he's a Swedish artist, uh, born in Pakistan, uh, and who da has some brilliant work. Uh, that's the next exhibition coming up in, in, in a week's time. Um, I, I, there is no time here, or this is not the right moment, to mention all the wonderful hundreds of artists that we work with uh, locally and internationally, or our craftspeople. Uh, but uh, I do want to say that the rich cultural heritage is something that we, we uh, love, respect, and are very grateful for. Uh, we are keen to have people-to-people -people dialogue and people-to-people -people connections where we can do more for, for, our, uh, for our people, for our arts, for our rich culture, for making films and documentaries. We are looking out for support there as well because we need to um, have uh, ways of sharing our narrative, sharing our stories and, and of course listening to everybody else in other parts of the world. Thank you.